Hey, what's going on, guys? Fuzz here, back with another video. Today, we're we'll playing The Walking Dead, Episode 1, Part 2. We're gonna be finishing up Episode 1 in this video. I gotta do a couple of repeat things real quick because my game didn't save, so I just gotta give these candy bars to her real quick. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Alright, and I gotta give this to Kenny real quick. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Thank you. Alright, now they looked at all that, and I already went outside. This is the only place left to go. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I guess I'll talk to her first. I'm nope. gonna keep looking around. Never okay. mind, those options are trash. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yeah, let's get it. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. Gotta check on it. Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? I want to be mean, but there's no option to... Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, it's fine. Yeah, no right, good no options, further. Telltale. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. You gotta be honest. I, um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. That's not a little. I'll find you a bandage. 
That's not a little. No, I should probably look around. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Is that this drawer right here? Yes, sir. Let's have a look at that finger. No, I meant to. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Oh. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Oh, Lee, good with it. Ah. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? This game trying to make Lee. me break her heart. They'll, uh, I'm trying to answer down. you, bro. Chill. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Hold up one second, bro. This music real loud in my ears. One sec. All right, let's see how that works. All right, let's get it. All right, so. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. There's a photo over there. Find anything? Where did you come from? Do you not hear the door, Lee? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Be cool, Thanks. Lee. Don't worry about it. I trusted her. She came up here pressing me. <laughs> Alright, let's get the door. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, key. Yeah. So. Okay. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Alright. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Get a lead, I think. Wait, no, I, mean, I never got the. It's the remote to my dad's TV. TV? That's what I figured. Head out. Wanna 
head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Sweetie, I just told you this. No? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Why does Kenny look Let me know as soon off? as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alright, so check everything we need to check. Granola balls to everybody. Check the back room and everything. Talk to Doug. Where's Carly at? Okay. Let's go do it. Hey, Carly. Let's get it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Glenn, you have your car right there. Oh, you could have done it by yourself. Damsel in distress. You waited for us to get here. What is this slow motion walkthrough? About as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. You got a pillow? An idea for it. For what? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Can you let me know what you have in mind? Is this cool? I'm not 
sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. And I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. Alright, so, you telling me to move back, Lee? Can you... Alright. some attention. Be careful. Hello? What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Well, thanks, Glenn. Bro, the up and the left do the same thing. Positive that would not work. But good shit, Lee. No, there are too many arrows. Thing. That's some good shit, Lee. Uh, I guess we push. Alright. It was awesome! <laughs> Lee, can we go to that guy? There's an axe over there. Oh, a spark plug. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That's just a fact, you know? <laughs> That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Go back now? Okay, now I... Alright, let me get this. I got it. I gotta leave. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for a click. Alright, let's get the drone. Oh, it's gonna make me do it. Oh no. Lee! 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 What are you doing, brother? Was, was that my fault? Okay, cutscene. Let's get it. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? We're not gonna get that though? Glenn got no weapon. Two more. That should help. Whoa. 
What is that crouch? Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Get it, Lee. I'm not even. Oh, he was walking by himself. Let's get it. Rad. Good shit, Lee. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys that's good enough for me if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in i don't i guess you might want to break through that board first that's what i I thought I clicked, bro. Alright. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. If she don't want to come out, let's just leave her! She look half dead. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn? I this don't man, want Glenn that. Suck. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. We're out of here. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. That's Give cool with me. Her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Do it. Fine. You're all fucking crazy. I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. That didn't seem too difficult to me. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I'm here with I'm you. I'm here with you. You're a good man. I got you. Look away, Lee. That gun got a silence on it? That was quiet as hell. Why is Glenn in the back? Isn't that your ride? Did we get gas? Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup right, truck bet. on the car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alright, let's get it. This way, right? Yep. I don't like uh, talk to anybody.
Wait. Oh, I need... I need the keys, bro. That whole Glenn thing just distracted the hell out of me. So I gotta talk to Douglas. Oh. Did I talk to him? How you doing, Glenn? You know. Oh, Do yeah. you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Okay. Thanks for the info, buddy. That's all I need. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. He gonna press me about giving her the gun because he, he was trying to get a piece. Hey there. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. I probably should have finished this a while ago. Carly, you put him in backwards? Or was that just me flipping it? Is that everything? Was that that button? As the unknown affliction continues to spread on You fixed it. Man, let's go. Carly sucked too. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any Come on, contact dog. with individuals you How suspect doing? may have been Good. exposed. The Wanna station is okay. Around outside? In the event of a full uh, 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 Let's have a look around. Okay. Try to break it? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Isn't the keys on that dude? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Yeah, I thought I grabbed the photo. I'm like in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Wait, can I do that? Lee, that zombie coming right for you, bro. He don't see you? Okay. Vandalism. Nice. I got an idea. What is it? Remote? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. See, Doug's smart well, with it. Let's Doug, get it. Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That was a weird cutscene. 
Now's the time. I guess I'm going. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Lee, why are you walking so slow? Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Dog, chill! We do gotta hurry though, Lee. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. <sighs> Not to say it, Lee, like the head, Lee, come on, man. Dude, the... Can you change the position of the axe? No? To chop the head off, Lee. Thank you. Okay, go, go! Crap. Run! They just all turn around like that? What is that? Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Man, Lee going through it. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. That's the door to the pharmacy. I press we two. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. I got you. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Oh, come on. And now we don't gotta lock on the gate outside. Get it, Kenny. Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I got door thought lock. Kenny punch didn't work. Now, shit. good shit, you Kenny. Three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. But he took my weapon, though. That's Stay not good. Away from the windows. Lad, we need your help. What am I doing? Oh. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. You like Doug? I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh, I... Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Give it 
time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Lee, are you getting a good advantage from that point? Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. I think she'll be standing like Doug, probably. Go. Lee, you got this? Ah. Uh. Oh. I found something. I'm not good at that. Thank you. Thank you. Lee, come on, man. Alright. Oh, not Doug. He's the only smart one we got. Oh. I gotta save Doug. Oh, oh man. Oh! Dude. I like her. Oh my god. Let's go! That was brutal for a game. Jeez. Oh, Clan bro, get out of here, bo. Go! I'm not covered with this, you son of a bitch! No! You fat fuck! Why? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. That's my Especially boy right there. Good Come on. Larry, I'm gonna take every last single one of those pills and I'm gonna burn them. Meanwhile, Inlet, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are Why would he do that? Kenny was the one fighting more than in the first place. I just told him to just stop being a dick. Oh man, Clementine, it was so Meanwhile, England, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all And then this one time, Derek and Superdash were able to be sweaty. It's like Derek had an underwater mega laser. You never pay attention to what you need to do. Can you just look at the hell is that from? Alright, guess I'm. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. What's she doing Sounds back like there? nobody knows what's happening here. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Not like we have much to begin with. What's, what's going on? I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, do you think going to be important? I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. So he just gone? Hey. Glenn, you hidden an ice machine from one walker when you had a car right next to you. I, I probably won't see hey, you around. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. Kenny the no homie. Problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. 
But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. That's my guy. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to the way you read things. It was so awesome. SBA is sweet. Yeah. Can you just look over it? Oh, Doug now? How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. Did you check the glove box? I swear oh, I sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed help. No. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. What? So you saying you want to be dead? Doug, you'll be all right. You a smart guy. The Dumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was Fuck you, dude. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then Hey Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I remember when I packed them up, I said I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Did Glenn keep it? I swear I saw it. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. Can I know just it doesn't over. make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. You want to say please? Oh, man. Clementine. Another thing. Doug, calm down, bro. What do you want? You like my daughter? Where the fuck you, button? Well, the answer better be no. Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee? Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Your dad's about to be dead because of me. Because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Famous last words? Yep, what'd I tell you? <laughs> Cool preview. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? 
I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Who's that guy? There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Jenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. He clocked me in the face! What's happening? No more, please! No more, please! Please! Ah, that looks fire. This graphics on are spectacular, by the way. Alrighty. Honesty lied to Herschel. You and 54% of players were honest with Herschel. He was still, like, hateful to me no matter what, for some reason. Save Duck or Sean. 52% of players chose Duck. Had to save the little kid. Side with Kenny. You and 54% of players defended Kenny. Does that mean you were neutral or you started with Larry? Because, like. Unless it gave Irene the gun. You and 47 players gave her the gun. Why not give her the gun? What's it gonna hurt? When you save Doug or Carly, you and 51% of players chose Doug. Yeah, because Doug was smart, bro. We needed Doug. We need someone like Doug. Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for episode one. I'm going to be doing episode two here shortly. Thank you guys all for watching, and you have a nice day.